Diamond now trying to pick up Kick. He wants to get his hands on the champion. Remember, fans, that the champion does not have to be pinned to lose this matchup. Oh, King sent head first straight into that ring post. And on the far side now, Nation trying to mount the comeback against the Butcher. Oh, nailing Butcher with that weapon. And this one is breaking down at ringside. Nation's got that weapon and nails the Butcher. I'll tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, that Rick King and Nation are capable of giving as good as they have gotten in the past several moments. And the engines of chaos had better be weary because Rick King and Nation have come here to fight. Paul Butcher sending Nation all the way to the floor. Wait a minute. Oh, King out of nowhere with that trash can lid across the head of Jake Diamond. And fans, once again, I want to stress, this is not a tag team matchup. This is every man for themselves. However, it would seem like the engines of chaos are trying to divide and conquer on Rick King and Nation. Butcher now choking Nation in, in, the, in the crowd as Rick King now has Jake Diamond set up. A fan at ringside just handed Rick King that chair and he placed it right across the face of Jake Diamond. He's on the ring apron. What's he gonna do here? Oh! Diving up the ring apron with a well-placed kick right across that chair which was draped across the face of Jake Diamond. And speaking of chairs now, Butcher's got Nation pinned down. Oh, but Rick King tossing Jake Diamond over the guardrail and into the Butcher. Momentarily breaking up the Butcher's offense and giving Nation a chance to recover. All four men in the crowd now. Oh, and Butcher sent right into the barricade. Rick King's got that chair. Well, now measures the Butcher and cracks it right across his back. And that's totally legal in the realm of this matchup. And now choking on the Butcher. Here comes Diamond though. And nailing the Rick King right across the back of the vertebrae. And now Diamond sending the submission technician head first. He's got that chair. Oh, and a savant kick. Perfectly timed, bringing down Jake Diamond. Now Nation's got a chair, and now wearing out the Butcher. Oh, right across the back. And now Nation is the only man standing, and he falls. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the wildest matchup I have ever seen in the seven year history of great championship wrestling. Not even the six sided sanctuary that is our wrestling ring could contain this kind of violence. These men brawling in the crowd, brawling all over the building to determine who is the rightful owner of the Interstate Championship. Oh, and the champion getting tossed over the barricade very gingerly, and King may be out of this contest. King landed very gingerly on that hip. Wouldn't be surprised if he has trouble moving for the rest of this matchup. And it would seem now that the engines of chaos have one down and one to go. As now they focus all their energy on Nation. King now rolling back inside the ring. Ironically, the safest place in this building at this point as Nation continues to fight an uphill battle against Butcher and Jake Diamond. Nation propped up in that chair. Butcher backs up, charges. Oh, oh, oh. And Nation able to use evasive maneuvers there and avoid both the Butcher and Jake Diamond's treachery. He moved out of the way of the Butcher and then quickly nailing Jake Diamond with that chair. And now both the engines of chaos are down. 
Nation now trying to clear the cobwebs. Slowly getting back to his feet. Oh, the Butcher runs out of nowhere and clotheslining Nation right back down. And now once again, it would seem the engines of chaos are gonna have their way with Nation. Who knows, maybe their intention is to split the Interstate Championship. Oh, keep your eyes on King. Aubrey oh, King has recovered though. He's on the top rope. What's he gonna do from that position though? He's way too far, or is he? King dives into the crowd and takes out everybody. I can't believe how far King just leapt from the ring over the barricade into the crowd and through three of his opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how bad Rick King wants to retain the Interstate Championship. That's how much this championship means to these competitors. They're putting everything on the line here tonight to walk home as the one man who can claim to be champion. Oh, King over the barricade and a right hand right across the face of Jake Diamond. King now trying to get Diamond inside the ring. This matchup must be won within the ring. It's not false count anywhere. Diamond now slow to recover. King on the ring apron and now going to the top. He's perched like a cat. He leaps. High cross body bringing down Jake Diamond. King with the cover. And no. Oh, first cover of the matchup. And Jake Diamond was able to kick out. And now Nation and the Butcher at ringside. It's like we have two matches going on at the same time with everybody having the same goal to become the Interstate Champion. King Duck slow, double leg trip up there, off the ropes and drives the foot right across the face of Diamond. There's the cover and no. Once again, Diamond gets the shoulder up. This is the kind of action you come to expect every week with great championship wrestling, especially with these competitors. Inside the ring, Irish Whip was reversed. Came sent to the far side, there by Jake Diamond. And now Diamond setting him up in the corner for something. Once again, Jake Diamond and the Butcher seem to be dividing and conquering. Perhaps they want to share the Interstate Championship. Oh, fantastic. Let's put a butterfly on that belt, too. Oh, Butcher dives, goes to the shoulder block against the barricade, but Nation able to avoid it. And now King inside the ring, trying to counter Jake Diamond. Possibly going for a sunset flip here. Oh, but Diamond catching him. He's got him up there, perfect balance. Oh, and driving. Rick King down with a fall away slam. From the second rope, ladies and gentlemen, that's got a feel like falling off a building. And now Diamond's going to make the cover. Shoulders are down, and no. Oh, we were so close to having a brand new interstate champion. But Rick King, the submission technician, showing tremendous reserve and determination to hold on to his championship. Oh, a nation back inside the ring now, taking out Jake Diamond and now choking him across the ropes. Butcher still at ringside, trying to recover from running himself into the barricade. And now it's Nation in a great position to walk away as the winner. An atomic drop there by Nation and a kick by King. A little bit of cohesiveness here by King and Nation on Jake Diamond. They set off in the center, leg drop there and a senton. Double whammy there for the Las Vegas native. I'd say all bets are off and now it's Diamond in trouble here. The question is, is it gonna be Nation or Rick King who capitalize? Oh, Nation's got him up on his shoulders. Keep your eyes on King. Oh, springboard forearm and bringing down Jake Diamond.